two, three, four. Anybody need anything? Amanda Granite, A M A N D A G R A N I T, Chief Communications Officer for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Uh, the scene behind me this morning is one that's heartbreaking and, and truly rattling for even our most seasoned deputies. I'm going to walk you through the timeline of what we know happened overnight. Just before 3 o'clock this morning, our deputies received a 911 call that a toddler had been hit by a vehicle on Sheldon Road near Brennan Circle. When our deputies arrived here, they found a three-year-old in the roadway, and that child was immediately transported to St. Joseph's, Maine, where unfortunately they succumbed to their injuries. Uh, we can tell you that the driver had just gotten off of work and was returning home. No signs of impairment, no signs of, of wrongdoing on the driver's part. He was on his way home when he realized he hit something, but he didn't see anything in the roadway. So he did the smart thing and turned his vehicle around, and that's when he made the horrific discovery that he had hit a toddler. Um, after the toddler was transported to the hospital, our deputies immediately began trying to figure out why a three-year-old was in the middle of the roadway at this hour of the night and where the child's parents would be. Um, this is a, a really populated area and a very busy roadway. Uh, there are a lot of homes, there are a lot of apartment buildings. Uh, within an hour, our deputies worked diligently and quickly and they were able to make contact with parents. They found an open door at the Valencia Apartments, which is just about a quarter mile away from, from the scene of the crash. Um, at the same time that they found this open door, they also encountered the parents inside frantic looking for their child. Uh, at that point, um, you, you can imagine the heartbreak and the nightmare that these parents realized that they were they were living in. At 3.30 in the morning, there's no place that a child should be and no place that a parent expects a child to be other than safe and in their bed. And unfortunately, these parents received the, the heartbreaking news that their child had passed away at the hospital. At this point, for the parents and the driver, there are no charges. We're still actively going through our investigation. It just happened several hours ago, so we have a lot more work to do out here. We do expect the roadway to be closed for several hours, um, so anyone going to work who would have to go down Sheldon Road, we just ask you to avoid this area. Um, just truly a, a gut-wrenching and heartbreaking scene that, that is unfolded, and our thoughts are with the family and anyone who knew this child. Yes, sir. Due to Marcy's law, I can't release the gender of the child. At this point, we're trying to determine exactly how the child was able to get out of the home. Um, I have a, a toddler myself, and I can tell you that he can unlock and open the front door. Uh, but at 3.30 in the morning, you don't expect your child to be doing anything other than being safe and in their bed. Uh, so exactly how this happened, we're not, exact, we're not sure, but it is part of our investigation. Yeah, I mean, it... I can definitely give advice, but I don't want it to come across as if we are placing blame on anyone. You know, hindsight is twenty twenty. I'm sure these parents wish they took many different steps to avoid what occurred here this morning. Um, but we would encourage anyone who has small children, who has children at all, to take the proper steps to make sure that your home is safe and secure and you're evaluating your child's needs and abilities. If they have the ability to reach the doorknob, if they have the ability to reach the lock, maybe move the lock up, add a second lock to your door to put those uh, those devices on the doorknob that make it hard for a child to open. Um, Again, this morning, this appears to be just a heartbreaking tragedy, but there are all things that we can learn from, from something like this. It'll be several hours before they're reopened. We have the crash investigation to, to complete out here, um, but they're working as fast as possible, knowing that many people are trying to get to work. No, no evidence at all other than just he was just trying to get home, um, and he did the right thing. He turned around just to determine what he had hit, and, and that's when this all unfolded. perfect. I, it, it was dark. I mean, it was three o'clock in the morning. So, you know, there aren't any street lights at this portion, which I think likely plays a, a big factor into why the driver didn't see anything in the roadway. Uh, but the road conditions were not wet or, or altered in any way last night. Thank you guys.